Dear listeners and viewers, I warmly welcome you to the critical analysis of the poem Building the Nation, the poem written by Christopher Henry Mwanga Barrow, the Ugandan poet. The presenter is Mwalim Reginald Bishoza, a secondary school, English language and literature. Before heading on with a critical analysis of this poem, may I present to you the entire poem. The poem reads, Today I did my share in building the nation. I drove a permanent secretary to an important urgent function, in fact, to a luncheon at the big. The menu reflected its importance, called bear beer with small talk, then fried chicken with nice teas, wine to feed the wholeness of the love, ice cream to cover the stereotype jokes, coffee to keep the PSA work on a return journey. I drove a permanent secretary back. He yawned many times in the back of the car. Then to keep awake, he suddenly asked, Did you have a lunch friend? I replied looking straight ahead and the secretary smiling at his belated concern that I had that I had not but was dreaming. Upon which he said with seriousness that amused him more than he annoyed me. Mwananchi, I too had none. I attended to matters of state, highly delicate diplomatic duties, you know. And friend, it goes against my grain, causes my stomach ulcers and wind. Oh, he continued, yawning again, the pain we suffer in building the nation. So the peers had answers too. My answers, I think, are equally painful, only they are caused by hunger, not sumptuous lunches. So, two nation builders arrived home this evening with the terrible stomach pain, the result of building the nation, different ways. Dear listeners and viewers, about the poem, the poem Building the Nation, ironically, explains the way people contribute to the nation development that is what the poet has called building the nation from the poem the persona is the driver of the peers the the peers is an acronym to mean the permanent secretary the driver complains that his boss or the peers spends the day for having lunch instead of working so as to build the nation. He is proud because he has played his role to drive his boss. That is to say, the driver is very responsible regarding his duties. By going at work, by driving the peers, and to return him back home. But the peers fails to build the nation as he spends the whole day at Vic. Vic is a notorious hotel found in Entebbe, Uganda, and it has 
it has been abbreviated to name the Victoria Hotel. Dear listeners and viewers, here are the possible things to be extracted from the poem before uh, the individual critical analysis of the possible themes I bring to you the general intention of the poet what necessitated the poet to write this poem dear listeners and viewers the poet intends to criticize the nature of African leaders when it comes to the issue of building the nation. African readers put forward some selfish tendencies when building the nation. The welfare of the, of the majority is put to the periphery out of consideration and this has resulted into disappointment of the majority who eventually suffer from poor living condition while the minority African leaders live extravagantly. The first possible theme to be identified from this poem is hypocrisy. The high government leaders are hypocrites because they pretend to build the nation, but they do not really build. Instead of building the nation, they feed their own stomach. That is what, what we can uh, literally term as selfish tendencies of leaders. For instance, in stanza form, the persona says, oh, he continued yawning again the pains we suffer in building the nation. This shows that the PS is a liar because he is yawning because he had eaten too much and not because he is building the nation. Hypocrisy of readers should be highly discouraged because it creates disappointment of the lower class of the people like the class of the PSC driver. The second possible theme is classes. Alternative words can be termed as social antagonism. The persona argues that there are two nation builders in the last stanza. This means there are two classes which are the upper class, the class of the PS, and the lower class, that is the class of the persona or the driver. That is why the PS calls the persona his driver as Mwananchi. The Kiswahili word to mean a citizen. As in, in stanza 4, the PS is not Mwananchi because he belongs to the upper class who are hypocrites and exploiters. Classes basing on exploitation should be discouraged so as to create the harmonious society. Another possible thing, dear listeners and viewers, is embezzlement. The PS represents the leaders who misuse the government fund for selfish tendencies. This is shown in stanza 2 when the persona states fried chicken, called bell beer, wine, and ice cream. The mentioned staffs have been mentioned symbolically to show that the government readers misuse the government funds. The PS exploits the government fund extravagantly by consuming some uh, staffs as mentioned and this has been the source of poverty of the majority because the fund that could be used to ensure social services and some 
important requirements to the lower class has been used in extravagant free. Another possible theme is selfishness. The PS is selfish because he is inside having a high quality food and drinks, leaving his driver outside. And on the way back to back home, he is asking the driver, did you have a lunch friend? Well, he knows that he did not have it. Therefore, that is a rhetorical question because the PS knows an answer. He is just asking because he is selfish. In other words, he is egoistic. Another possible theme is irresponsibility. In the poem, the PS represents irresponsible readers who are in power. For instance, the driver says, I drove a permanent secretary to an ancient function, in fact, to a lunch at the Vic, but the function was just drinking beer, wine, coffee, and eating fried chicken and ice creams. This shows that the readers are irresponsible to mean that they do not, they do nothing rather than enjoyment. The title building the nation gives an image of irresponsibility. The readers did not build the nation, rather the readers destroy the nation. Another possible theme, I mean, another uh, important idea presented by the poet is lies and deceit. The PS seems to tell lies to the driver. The lies that publicly show that the PS had not taken any foot. While behind the scene, we find the PS eating too much at the Victoria Hotel. A very expensive meal, whereby the driver remains behind with nothing to eat. To prove this, the persona says, until the question asked by the peers, did you have a lunch friend? This is, and to put matters to a satisfying manner, the PS adds, I too had none, but behind we actually know that the PS had such an expensive mail. Dear listeners and viewers, here are the possible figures of speech and poetic devices employed by the PS, I mean by the poet in his poem. The first figure of speech or device used by the poet is satire. The persona satire satirizes the piece. For instance, in stanza four, the poet says, upon which the upon which he said with was seriousness that amused him more than annoyed me. Also in stanza three, I replied looking straight ahead. This shows that the driver is conscious of the PS irresponsiveness and it has been used to mock the behavior of the upper class of the people like the PS. Another possible uh, figure of speech is uh, sarcasm. Some bitter or wounding words have been used to wound those readers or to mock the readers who are deceitful or hypocritic. For instance, in stanza two, the menu reflected its importance. Called the beer with the small talk, one to feed the wholeness of the love. It is also easy to show protest against misuse of funds and irresponsibility. 
Another figure of speech is repetition. The phrase during the nation as the title of the poem is usually repeated to show emphasis on the subject matter. It appears in stanza 1, stanza 4, and the last stanza. It shows emphasis that readers do not view the nation, rather they are irresponsible. Iron is another figure of speech employed in this poem. The title of the poem is ironic. That is to say, the title, Bury the Nation, has been used to refer to readers who are destroying the nation. But the title suggests that uh, someone is Bury the Nation. Contrary to this, the only true nation builder is the PSC driver, who seems to be very responsible regarding the agenda of building the nation. Another figure of speech, I can term it as a device or the technique used by the poet is rhetorical question. The PS knows that his driver is hungry, but he is asking him, did you have a large friend? That is stanza 3. Therefore, it is a rhetorical question because the PS does not need an answer. This rhetorical question is used to the PS. It is used by the PS to indicate that the PS is hypocritic. Another technique used is called mixing. There is the use of Swahili word. In other words, this point can, as, can be termed as, as barbarism as a figure of speech. The word manage, a Swahili word has been used to mean citizen. Citizen, citizens of the lower class. Dear listeners and the viewers, The following are the lessons that can be presented, can be obtained from this poem. The first lesson that readers can learn from this poem is that responsiveness, responsiveness of readers is a big problem to the nation, national development. In the point that the PS is irresponsible. Instead of working for the matters of state, he spends time for stories and lunch with his friends. It is revealed, revealed by a verse, in fact, to a luncheon at the Vic. This is the verse to be extracted from stanza one. Another possible lesson that readers can obtain. What can learn from this poem is that misuse of government funds is the source of underdevelopment. The poet has revealed readers who misuse funds as rep represented by the PS. The PS is seen having expensive food and drinks together with his friends. The use of chicken, beer, wine, and Symbolize misuse of funds, source of underdevelopment. Another possible lesson to be learned by the reader is that the government will take disciplinary actions against corrupt and irresponsible readers. The lesson conveyed in the poem is that government, the government should dismiss the readers who are politicians to the development of the nation, like the PS in the poem. The last lesson to learn is that it is better to be aware of bad leaders. Throughout the poem, the driver is conscious that the PS is irresponsible. His consciousness is revealed in the last chapter when the poet says, so two nation builders arrived home this evening with a terrible stomach pain. Dear 
Someone can comment on a tone of the poet or the persona. The tone and the voice quality of the persona must be sad so that I can be angry because the leader failed to fulfill his duties in the national development. What is the mood of this poem? How does fail when reading this poem? Dear listeners and viewers, the poem reveres the irresponsible, irresponsibility of readers that has resulted into poor living majority poor people. So readers must feel sad and unhappy or disappointed due to the behavior revealed, the behavior of readers revealed in this poem. Last three. How can I comment on the relevance of this poem? Is this poem a replica of what is happening in the set of today? Is it a copy of what is happening in the set of today? Is the presented this poem rampant to the society of today, particularly Africa? It is most relevant to the developing countries like Tanzania, where hypocrisy, exploitation, and misuse of the government, government fund has been commonly done by some readers. And it is not a wonder to have heard that some readers have been caught in some behaviors like embarrassment and misuse of the public fund and resources. Eventually, some have been imprisoned as a punishment. It is not only in Tanzania, but also in Africa. Corruption has been the major problem in many African countries. And it has, one of the, it has been one of the burning issues to be addressed immediately so as to ensure the development of the African continent. Dear listeners and viewers, the last part of the political analysis of this poem is to identify whether the poet has succeeded or failed in his content and form presentation. Generally, the poet has succeeded in very some issues based on problems of African readership, including hypocrisy of readers, exploitation, selfishness, and so on. By so doing, readers can develop awareness regarding the, the real situation of African continent of today. So the poet has succeeded on the things of issues that happen in the society we live. On the other side, the poet has failed to employ enough figures of speech. It is very rare to obtain them. And the poem can generally be commented as more than a poem, although it is difficult for the readers to obtain some figures of speech. Thank you very much for your attention, for viewing and listening. This marks the end of my presentation.
I warmly welcome you once again to subscribe on my YouTube channel entitled Poet Reginald Bishosa for more updates of poetry analysis and some acad academic related issues. Thank you once again for your attention and wishing you all the best. Bye.